Hey guys, this is IXWell at IX with LEGO Mini War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. <laughs> have Mini War for Cybertron Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. And there's just something very chibi about it. Something very over-exaggerated and cute um, with the windows here. I, I think it's the um, front which does it because it's got no bumper which really amplifies that fact. I, I just couldn't fit in a bumper in this 2 by 3 space here. So I... Uh, did what I could, but it looks pretty nice. It's got the two front wheels there, and uh, the other pairs of wheels back there. These smokestacks here and here, and this blue thruster bit. It's pretty hollow at the back, but um, all things considered, It's pretty nice for its size. At the bottom, the only thing visible is the hands. And all around, it just looks really, really cool. Here it is next to a minifigure. So you can get an idea for the size. It is very small. To transform it, it's actually a lot like the toy, but it has its differences. Bring it up like this. Uh, then straighten out the legs. Take these smokestacks. Put them against the legs like that. them down, rotate the whole waist section, and bring it in like that. Next, uh, this section, going to bring these up. slide the arms down or what will be the arms those can go all the way back you then take these bring them out rotate this section around and rotate the forearms around. Next, bring them just a tad forward so that you can bring these sections in like this as shoulder armor. Then the chest rotates around. Bring the arms back like that. And uh, to give him a good posture, I bend the knees. Then flip the head up like that. And there you have him in robot mode. Now the robot mode for Prime looks really good. Uh, despite the lack of detail on the head, it still resembles Prime in robot mode very well. The only bit of kibble it has in this mode are the wheels on the back, but that is accurate to the design. It does have a hole in the torso there, 
But, like I said, scale, it's hard to fill out everything. But I did my best. It does have the exhaust pipes on the legs. They should be a little off to the side, but um, at least they are on the legs there, which is um, really cool, actually. It's got the grill, the uh, waist section, the windows on the front, and uh, these nice-looking arms. They're pretty beefy. I like how they're not just uh, straight blocks. They actually have shape to them, which is kind of cool. The head is just a block, however, but it pulls off the look really nicely. For articulation, the head rotates, the forearms rotate, the arms go forward and back. It's got uh, this inward movement here. The legs go forward and back. It's got a torso joint in here like this, so it can do this kind of thing. And that's about it. You can pull off some pretty decent poses, um, but nothing too incredibly exciting. Um, but you got variety. For accessories, Optimus Prime has one of many guns from the game. This is based off the uh, gun on the cover. It's got uh, the sight there, um, also doubling as an ammo clip. It's got some sort of cocking mechanism there and a barrel. Next, Optimus Prime has his axe. Now this is both a mixture of his axe in-game and his axe uh, in the cinematic trailer. His axe in the trailer has this tip with the three prongs there, but it's a lot longer. His axe in-game is about this long, but it looks more like a battle axe having two symmetrical sides. I like the look of this better, but I didn't want the axe to be too long. So, I made this. Now in the game, when any given Transformer picks up a gun, they don't so much pick it up as they scan it, and their arm transforms into that gun. Like they would a vehicle, and then they would transform into that vehicle. On this, rotate the arm, it has a hole, and the gun has a peg. Uh, now you can obviously see the hand back there, um, but from most angles, it'll look like his arm has miraculously transformed into a gun, as if by magic. Meh. The same principle goes for his axe. Well, it's a little different. See, his arm transforms into it, but then it shows up in his hand in-game for the brief second you see it. So, in other words, it comes out of nowhere. Uh, the axe, same principle, it just goes into this hole, and from most angles, uh, it looks like he's holding it. Yeah, it's cheating, but um, it looks really cool. So now he can bash up your Trypticons. Thank Primus. It worked. You have defeated me, Autobots. You've lost, Trypticon. Autobots, roll out! <laughs> you sure gave him the axe. <sighs> anyway, this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.